Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm at Circus Circus for the grand opening of the SpongeBob attraction and to check out the Adventure Dome. So how about you and I dive right in. Okay, we've officially made it inside the casino. The Adventure Dome is where we're heading. That's where the new SpongeBob attraction is located. The midway is that way over there. And then the Adventure Dome will be right up these stairs. Ready for the next adventure? Oh, I'm always ready for the next adventure. The property's going through a renovation as well. So you're gonna see some new paint everywhere and they're kind of sprucing things up. And I don't know when the uh, renovation's supposed to be officially done, but they're doing a good job. Uh, taking this uh, older hotel to the next level. I mean, this hotel is pretty iconic. Circus Circus has been here for a long time. Okay, so here's the entrance to the Adventure Dome right here, but the SpongeBob attraction is further down this way. And here it is right here, the all new SpongeBob Crazy Carnival ride here at Circus Circus. This is pretty cool. It's got a really cool facade. And it's Vegas, so you gotta have a really good marquee sign. I think, you know, SpongeBob and Patrick did a pretty good job here. You know, it was probably funded by Mr. Krabs. And look at this, here's the side of the building too. So I'm sure this might be like an extended queue if the line ever gets long. And speaking of Mr. Krabs, there he is right there. How cool this animatronic was shown off at IAPA not too long ago. And this is its final uh, destination right here at Circus Circus. Ahoy, landlubbers, and welcome to Mr. Krabs Carnival Games. And congratulations, you're going to help me get very, very rich. So buy a ticket and have fun. Now, Sally Dark Rides is the manufacturer of this attraction, and they do some really cool stuff. And look at this guy right here taking tickets. Also another animatronic, that's cute. And it looks like uh, to ride the attraction, they have these little cards, and we'll get all that information in a little bit. I'm just trying to get as many details as we can. This is awesome. Now, unfortunately, you don't get tickets over there with that guy. You actually get tickets right over here at this kiosk right next to the gift shop. And we'll go over this information. All right, so the attraction costs $20 to ride, two rides for 40 and so on. You can also get a five ride pass or a four ride pass. That's $80 and $100 respectfully. But there you go, this is how you get your tickets. And once you get your card loaded up, you scan it right over there and you head on in. Okay, we've gotten our little card loaded up with the attraction passes. We've got two passes on this. And what you do is you just scan it right here and you're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna scan it one more time. Cool. There we go. Yeah, the queue is actually really cute. I love how they've colored the tile on the ceiling as well. We got a bunch of marketing for the games that we're gonna be playing because this is like a version of Toy Story Midway Mania, which I think is a pretty cool addition here to Circus Circus. Uh, I wonder what's in those crates. I wonder if it's the secret ingredient for the Krabby Patty. Okay, so it looks like this is one of the games. It's a smash. Yeah, bubble pop. What else we got? Ring toss. And what's this one over here? And then, okay, that's, I don't, oh, that's a hula hoop game. Or a hoop, not a hula hoop game, a basketball game. I'm so stupid. <laughs> and then we got Patrick right here. Of course, Patrick's always gonna be falling asleep. And Squidward, just disappointed. And they did a pretty good job hiding the speaker right here in the box. It's pretty creative. And that's what the ride vehicle looks like. This is gonna be a trackless experience. You can sit up to five passengers in this thing. Now, I'm not gonna be able to record uh, on the attraction. I will be able to take some photos, but yes, five people or five fish or five sea creatures or whatever, you know. Okay, so our review of the SpongeBob's uh, Crazy Carnival attraction, it was overall really cute. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, actually really vibrant and vivid in there. It was pretty uh, well done for the space that they had. They didn't have a lot of space to work with. So the ride is not extremely long. No, but it's still, I mean, it still yeah. kind of felt long. Yeah. yeah, apparently, well, on the video, he said, oh, like your 11 minute journey is over or something. I, know, so, I wonder, like, was that true? Was it 11 so minutes? So if it is true, then yeah, it's an 11 minute long uh, experience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it is very pricey though. I think at $20 is a little much for that. I would price it maybe five dollars a little bit less but it is las vegas everything mm -hmm. is expensive out here i mean the new york new york roller coaster is 25 dollars. so it was kind of cool to see something like that here on the strip because a long time ago they used to do like a lot more uh rides and roller coasters and all that kind of fun stuff uh but then things changed here in vegas and but then things are changing back so i mean vegas is always evolving uh and i think this is actually a really good addition to this hotel i know they're putting a lot of money into this hotel to revitalize it i thought they were gonna 
uh, actually bulldoze the hotel. I thought it was gonna be demolished and something new was gonna be here, but no, they wanna save it. And you know what, a side of me is okay with that just because uh, there's a lot of history here at Circus Circus. This hotel has been here for a very long time and it still has that vintage Vegas feel to it. Uh, obviously the new, you know, they have all the new slot machines in here and they're renovating, but it still feels like old Vegas. Uh, so it is kind of cool that they're keeping it and hey, they're bringing some new life into the hotel by adding things like the SpongeBob attraction, which I think the kids are really going to like. I, again, I just wish the price was a little bit lower. That way they can uh, maybe sell more, you know, maybe they could they sell it a little bit more. I think it's going to be hard to sell the $20 attraction on top of the Adventure Dome price at 60. So it's almost $100 just for one person to do the Adventure Dome stuff and the SpongeBob attraction. But I'm glad we were able to do it, so that was a good old hoot and a holler. And look at this, I had no idea that there was a water park here and Michael was telling me that there was a water park here and I don't I don't remember ever being back here. It's been, it's been here for a couple of years now. I mean, it's not like a massive water park. There's, they just got a one slide complex and then like some splash pad stuff down here, but that's pretty neat. And they look relatively new. So uh, yeah, I wonder how long, Oh, well, the person in the back uh, does not agree with the water park. Yeah, they're pretty upset with the water park. But hey, you know what? A lot of people do love this. And for those that want to know, yes, Michael won <laughs> again. You know, yeah. hey, I was I was busy taking photos and showcasing the attraction. Yeah, you were looking around a lot. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you got me. You got me by a few thousand points. One thing I really liked about this attraction, though, was just how bright and vivid everything was. It's just like the cartoon. And you know, I got to show you the gift shop. So here is the lovely gift shop at the exit of the attraction. And of course, they have a bunch of cool SpongeBob merchandise. They have a bunch of plush available. Oh, look, it's Gary. Nice to see Gary here. We have a lot of magnets here. I'm, you know, I'm always ready. And we have some toys over here. Oh, perfect, just the right size. Oh, and look at this, SpongeBob's house. It's actually three pair crew socks. Let's see, what's the price on this bad boy? It's a mystery. And I got a bunch of candy available, the Krabby Patties watermelon, a few other things. And then what's over here? We got, ooh, we got oh, I mean, some lounge fly stuff. Sure. Oh, this one is too. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this is honestly pretty legit. Lounge fly on the side there. SpongeBob's house on the front. Patrick and Sandy on the side. Who's Mr. Inside? Krabs. Huh? No, who's inside? Oh, who's inside? Oh, well, oh. SpongeBob, of course. <laughs> you know, let's take a break from SpongeBob and head inside the Adventure Dome. Because remember, it doesn't cost money to enter the Adventure Dome and walk around. It just costs money to do the rides. Now, the price of the Adventure Dome attractions is $60 for adults and $30 for children. And then the Fast Pass for adults is $100.50 for children. Okay, we've made it in the Adventure Dome because why not do a lap around here so I can show you all what's inside the Adventure Dome. There's a carousel. And of course, they have two roller coasters. I've been on this one right here. I believe it's still called Canyon Blaster. Ooh, they got like a little trampoline attraction where they strap you up and you can jump up and down. And you've you've done one of these, right? I've done one of these. I've done I've done both of these as a kid. But um, see, I've, I've never done that. Well, I've done the rock climb. Have you been all the way to the top? Yeah, I've done the rock. Yeah, I've walked all the way. To, not this one, but I've done a rock climb before. I remember this, my parents always tell me I probably made it. So like, I oh, right there. Right there <laughs> and I started crying and freaking out. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Going back to the roller coasters though, like I said, they have two, the Canyon Blaster, and then they have another one called El Loco that I'll show you in just a moment. I wish I could go on it today, but I don't know. I just can't justify the $60 for the day pass because I would probably only do the two roller coasters. So they got some arcade games over here and oh, okay, there goes the coaster. It's going up the lift hill right now. So maybe we'll get some cool shots of it coming around the course. It's not the longest roller coaster in the world, but it's actually pretty good. I had a good time on it a long time ago when I rode it. Down the first drop into the vertical loop. Heck yeah. And then after this turnaround, it hits the brake run. I believe there's two or three inversions on this. Again, it's been so long since I've been on it. And there's a couple other little turns and you make this cool little maneuver in the mountain here and then you hit the brake run. So short and sweet to the point. It's a pretty good coaster though. And the last time I was riding rides here, it was also the time they did like haunted houses in here for Halloween. They called it Fright Dome. Do you remember that, Michael? I remember it. I never got to go to it. So I never got to go to it either. I, yeah, I wish I did. I know for a fact they did like, I want to see there's there something in here. There used to be a house in there. I want to say the clown maze used to be in, in here. here. And then 
There's probably the some on the other yeah. side, yeah. Because the Adventure Dome is quite large. I mean, hey, maybe one of these days they'll bring it back, especially with Universal Studios building across the freeway with their Area 15 experience. All right, let's go up to the second level. Maybe I'll get some more views of the Canyon Blaster and El Loco from up here. I mean, that's where it says the attractions are accessible. So let's head up the stairs. Oh yeah, look at this. This is a perfect shot. There's two uh, two corkscrews on it as well, right? Does anybody remember the boat ride they used to have? Yeah, the boat ride used to be up here. I, I remember uh, the boat ride running last time I was here, enjoying the attractions, uh, but the boat ride has since been uh, kaput. But look at this shot, this is awesome. I mean, coaster enthusiast, nerd shot right here oh then here is the load and unload okay they're gonna go ahead and send this train so maybe let's head back to uh where the loop is and we'll get some cool shots okay, there's a second loop and then the corkscrews are around the corner days I'll get back on it because again I really want to do El Loco as well. The other unfortunate thing is, is I can't bring you on the rides here too. Uh, even the Spongebob attraction I'm not allowed to film on that attraction either so it's a little bit of a bummer. Now this bad boy right here this is El Loco on here it comes and it's final little trick before the brake run. Well actually the brakes are built into the to the half loop there. Isn't that cool? It's magnetic fins kind of help slow down the car. Now the manufacturer of this roller coaster behind me is s and and they have a few of these models around the world. Uh, this is, it's kind of like their Wild Mouse coaster, like a new spin on the Wild Mouse. And I think it's really cool. And it sounds really smooth. Maybe I guess that one day I'll get on this. If they do like an individual pricing. Circus Circus, if you're watching this, do individual ride pricing. I would love to go on El Loco and not pay sixty dollars to do it. Oh yeah, here's another great shot here. So here's the uh, two corkscrews. So a total of four inversions, which is pretty good, uh, considering the compact layout in here. Oh wow, look at this! They got some action going on down here. They could put another ride over here, which is what they might be doing in the future. Let's make our way towards the front of El Loco, so I can give you a shot of the first drop, which is. Uh, right over here in the corner but i love this element it's so cool yeah i like this part of the trick track part i mean the whole thing is pretty much trick track you see it come around the corner right here past the block break and then this little twisty bit and they got some more arcade games over here yeah they definitely have a lot of arcade games in the adventure dome oh yeah here's the first drop on this bad boy it's a vertical drop and it's pretty quick too this thing is no joke Again, these coaster models by s, s are so fun and they're compact enough where you can stick them just about anywhere. Okay, here, look at how fast that lift hill is. The lift hill on this is incredible. It's like, that's like, what was it, El Toro. Here it goes down the first drop. Heck yeah. Okay, I wanna show you this lift hill again because it is just lightning fast. I've only seen a few lightning fast lift hills like this before. You know, Dollywood's about to get one on lightning rod. You know, if I remember correctly, I think the flume, the big flume ride used to be right here. Yeah, these, so like, they saw the these plexiglass. Like going down. Like, you know, like drop right here. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That is, a, that is incredibly fast. Especially to pull that much weight up a uh, very steep incline like that. And some more carnival games over here. I feel like they should take a lot of this stuff out. I mean, all the arcade games and stuff, yeah, it just kind of takes up a lot of space. I feel like if they got rid of it, they can uh, you know, increase the capacity, the ride capacity here with some more flat rides or something. And they have an, an inverter. Yeah, you will not see me on this. No, thank you. I would do the drop tower though. The drop towers are fun. Oh dang, this thing is like a launch. I didn't know it launched all the way up there. I didn't get it on camera. I, guess I was like waiting for it to just go up there slowly. I thought it was just a normal drop tower. That's like a two for one special right there. That's cool. And that's pretty much Adventure Dome. Honestly though, I do not recommend it because of its price. Circus Circus was fun, but we've made our way back onto the Las Vegas Strip and to Bellagio to check out the fountain display before we make our way home back to Los Angeles. Now this is a fun little uh, Las Vegas trip. Very quick trip there and back. 
But that's the beauty of uh, living in Southern California. Las Vegas is not that far. And that's going to do it for today's video from Circus Circus in Las Vegas. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week that you won't want to miss out on. Don't forget to check out my socials by following the link down below in the description. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.